if you're watching this then i'm so sure that this thought of being absolutely original and i need to make new things etc etc have been troubling you and probably hindering you from getting even started and i have been struggling from this mindset for the longest of time until i came across this amazing book called steal like an artist by austin kleon and today i'm going to share a few things with all of you so hey guys i'm jessica and welcome or welcome back to my channel so the basic idea which austin highlights in his book is that nothing under the sun is new which means that you cannot make anything which has not been made before all you can do is do it differently like the famous french writer andre gish puts it everything that needs to be said has been said already but since no one was listening everything must be said again so this relieves the pressure of being absolutely original and to do things you know out of this world he also says that every new idea is a mashup or remix of old ones and he explains this through genetics like you as an individual are absolutely unique in every possible way unless you have like an identical twin but otherwise you are unique but your set of genes are nothing but a combination of your parents genes right or if i simply say that you are a remix of your parents so similarly every new idea is nothing but a mashup or remix of old ones also you can find this book on amazon or you can check out the link in my description box so now we can understand that inspiration plays a major role in being creative like we need to have some residual thought or idea and we can build or add on that now the question arises how to get these initial thoughts or ideas for our work now this is answered by austin and he mentions a number of ways out of which i'll share three the first one being very obvious is steal ideas you look at something you ask yourself is it worth stealing if your answer is yes you move on to the next thing if your answer is no you move on to the next thing so this way you no longer look at things as bad or good but only if they are or not worth stealing and if something is not worth stealing today it might be worth stealing tomorrow now there are many ways of doing it like you can carry a notebook wherever you go and you can write anything and everything you find interesting you can click pictures record videos make a scrapbook paste uh, cutouts from magazines or newspapers and you can put all these ideas in something called a swipe file from where you can swipe in and out your ideas next thing is garbage in garbage out So there's this theory in economics which says that the average of incomes of five of your closest friends will be pretty close to your own income, and this is true for ideas income as well. Now, don't get me wrong; I'm in no way saying that uh, money or intel- intelligence or uh, creativity should be a factor while choosing friends. No, not at all. But yes, we should be mindful how and with whom we are spending our most valuable resource with time. So for that. You can study your favorite writer, artist, businessman, leader, whoever it may be, and you can read about their inspirations, their idols, and you can study them as well. And this way, you can climb up your own, as Austin says, family tree. Third and last thing is copy. Yes, it sounds weird, but to be original, we need to copy. Think of a child. He does not have a style of his own. All he has is what he sees his mum and dad are doing, and he tries to imitate that. and as he grows he gets to know more people and is influenced by them similarly you can try to imitate your idols or hero and don't just imitate a single person try to imitate a number of persons um so don't copy a single person but copy a number of persons also don't just steal the style steal the thinking behind the style you know you don't want to look like your uh, idol or hero you want to see like your idol or hero makes sense all right now after imitation comes emulation which is one step further breaking through into your own thing a wonderful flaw of human beings is that we're incapable of making perfect copies so while copying your idol or hero you examine where you fall short and what makes you different and then you can amplify that and transform that into your own thing so that was it for today's video guys i hope you guys liked it and if you did then don't forget to subscribe like share leave a comment and i'll see you in the next video so let's stay safe and take care bye bye